and gentlemen, it's Papa Joe Deep. I am back. It seems that the Fallout 4 downgrader just got an update. The update does not require you to sign into your Steam. So for those of you that were a little antsy about having to sign into your Steam, now you don't have to. Now what it does is it's working kind of as a patcher. More so than a downgrader. So I'm going to show you how to install the new update. It's a little bit different than the other one. But you do not have to sign into your Steam account. So you're going to go to the mod page. And it says right here that you're going to have to install these three programs before you do the patcher. So I am going to go through it with you and show you how it's done. So... I'm currently using Mod Organizer. So the setup and the download will be exactly the same as for Vortex as it is with uh, Mod Organizer. So the first one we're going to want to do is backport Ar Archive to Support System. So simply just come over here to File, Download with your Manager of Choice. And then as we can see here in Mod Organizer, it is downloaded. Simply double click, proceed, and install. And then we're going to click this to enable it. With Vortex, Vortex will automatically enable it. With Mod Organizer 2, you have to physically check to uh, import it. So now the next one that we're going to need is the address library for Sky, uh, script extender. So same as usual. Again, come over here. Click on the... Uh, so it has been updated, but do not use the updated one. Use the old version for 1.10.163. You're going to want to use that one. So again, you're going to download it with your manager of choice, and then you're just going to install it. Click and make sure it is enabled. So that is two of what we need. Now we're going to do the third one. The third one is your script extender. Now what you're going to do when you come over to the files, you're going to notice there has been an update. But if you read, itself is pretty unstable, so expect crashes that aren't. So the, this update that they have on their page is very unstable. So for this downgrader, you're going to want to come down here to old files. And you're going to want to manually download that. Then you're going to go to your root directory. Let me bring this over here. Wherever your uh, Fallout game is installed, mine is on my D drive, so I'm going to go Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the Fallout4.exe. If the .exe is not showing, simply click View and file, click on File Name Extensions, and that pops them all right back up. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down to our, where our download was. Okay, so like I was saying, you go into your downloads. You're going to unpack everything. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your directory where your Fallout 4 is. Again, I had it open, but I kind of goofed up a little bit. Steam library, Steam apps, common, file four. So you're going to know you're in the right place. Like I said, you're going to be looking for your fallout4.exe. Simply copy all this and just drag it in. So we're just going to. And then we're going to drag it in. <clears throat> 
Now it's going to say replace because I've already installed it, so we're just going to replace. So now that that is done, what we got to do now next is we have to go back to the Fallout Downgrader, go up to Files, and then manually download. Now the big difference with this one is going to be is the first one that we did, we only had to click on the EXE. But what you have to do now, because this is working as a patcher, is you have to copy all of this. So you're going to take all of that and you're going to drag it into your root directory. Again, where your fallout4.exe is. Now you can close that because you have it in here. Now you're going to come over here and you're going to look for the downloader exe down here. Double click on that. And then you're going to let it run. And there you go. And that is basically how you're going to download the newest version of the Fallout 4 download um, downloader. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this because, like I said, it has been done. We're going to come over to our loader, which is the Fallout Fork Strip Extender Loader.exe. We're just going to double check, make sure that everything is working. And there we have it. So now you do not need to sign in with your Steam account. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And I always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.